Okay, I have here a uh, Vixing uh, USB waterproof uh, endoscope boroscope inspection camera, and it's just a basically a, a camera that's made waterproof, it's sealed here and here, and uh, it's just a very long, on a really long uh, USB cable. And here is a at the other end, you got the you got a standard USB, and there's a there's a, a knob you have to rotate that you can adjust the brightness of uh, LEDs. There's, there's four LEDs in the head, and uh, I'll show you. That's the uh, that's you, you get them on Amazon. The Vixing uh, boroscope. All you gotta do is look for a boroscope or endoscope, and you'll find them. It's really cheap. It's the price of uh, two hamburgers and a soft drink. You get an endoscope. Uh, it's VGA, so, so it's a VGA camera. Um, it looks like uh, looks like it's a very generic device. Okay, it's just a box with uh, doesn't really tell you anything, except it's got the specs here. If you want to look at that a little, you can pause and look at the uh, specs. Okay, it's a uh, VGA 640 by 480. And it runs on any operating system, uh, Linux, Windows, Mac, anything. And even though it says uh, you need a driver, which uh, it comes with. Okay, so that's this box that you not going to do. It. Um, it comes with a CD, which you don't need, so don't bother with that. Don't install any of that stuff that's in the CD. Uh, it comes with a piece of paper with the descriptions if you want to pause and read that. So you can pause and read that if you want. But uh, uh, this is the other side. But again, you don't need any of the instructions at all. You actually don't need any of that to use it on Windows or Linux. Uh, no need. So that's at one end, you got uh, an adjustment here. You see in the head uh, is four LEDs and a camera. In the middle is a camera, pre-focused camera. Uh, you can't adjust the focus. Um, it's four LEDs that, uh, that light up its path, and it's sealed here and here. This looks like it's brass, and this looks like, uh, it's not sure if it's plastic over glass. It could be glass, but the out outside is plastic. Clear, clear uh, uh, ring here is plas plastic, but the lens here, I don't know if it's glass or plastic. It's hard to tell. I'm not going to scratch it just to tell, but... It but by hitting it, it could be glass, I don't know. I don't see any scratches on it. Let's clean that. And again, it's pre-focused. The uh, lens, the uh, camera here is pre-focused from one inch to six inches. And this is five meters. Um, to use it in Linux, uh, all you have to do is plug it in. And I'm just gonna plug that in. And right away it lights up. Right away it lights up, and you can again you can adjust it as brightness from zero to uh, fairly bright, like a cheap glass, cheap uh, flashlight the brightness of the flashlight, and um, so. I'm just going to focus on something here. And, and, uh, and I'm going to try to get it on a Linux, for example. Uh, in Linux, I'm just going to run a VLC player. Okay. 
And I'm just going to bring up uh, the DLC player here. Uh, this is Mint Linux. And um, And uh, I'm just going to open up, uh, I didn't show you, but it was media. Click on media and then you get, uh, in VLC player, just click media and you click uh, capture device. And you got video for Linux. media, open capture device, uh, Mint Linux uh, 16 is a little buggy, I couldn't right click for some reason, but um, yeah, it's a capture device and then it's a video for Linux, and just uh, click play, and as you can see, that's the SD card right there. being magnified in the boroscope here. So that's about, let's say about an inch to as far as about maybe five or six inches. Not even that. But it's mostly for close-up work. It, it focuses very well uh, up close. Uh, I was able to look at my dental work, which I'll spare you of. So able to look at my tongue. Uh, so um, let's change the brightness again. And it just it, it's able to adjust pretty well. It's pretty fast. And this is Linux. All I did was just, I didn't install anything, by the way, just, uh, just to let you know. I installed nothing. I, all, I have, all I did was open up a VLC player, which sometimes is pre-installed. If it's not pre-installed, you could download it from a VLC player, uh, their website. Um, just Google it. And um, that's, that's the only thing I did. And let's try it on a Windows machine. And also to disconnect, all I did was just unplug it. Uh, so, I'm just going to bring up a Linux machine, a Win Windows machine, like a Windows 8, I have here a Windows 8 device. Again, all I gotta do is just plug it in. Same thing with Windows, where I didn't install anything, absolutely nothing installed. And uh, again, plug it in, and it lights up. Uh, I just dim that a little, so there's no. Um, let's get that there. So I'm gonna just open up. Uh, VSC player. And you can see that. You can see that. Um, same thing, media. And I'm just going to look for capture device. And you can keep it default to uh, direct show. And in the VL device name, just choose a USB camera. Okay, so as you can see that, or they would choose a USB camera and 
play. And it's a little small, so all you gotta do is uh, kind of double click it. Oh, actually, I'll just make it. You know, And I'll just show you this, show you on the same device that it shows. This is the card, the SD card, and I'm just gonna magnify. So it's here and here. Let's adjust the brightness a little bit more. You can see it works pretty well. Just just Kind of out of focus at about a few inches, about five or six inches, it starts to get out of focus. So it stays focused up to about three inches and up close to about half an inch. But people mention that it's focused up to six inches, but it's not really that focused. Um anyway. The device is pretty solid. Smells a little funny, but it's super solid. The cable is about this rigid, so some people mention that it's not rigid enough. It uh, does flop around after, yeah, it does kind of flop around, but that's about the stiffness of it. Move a little farther away, about 10, 12 inches, it just falls down. But, you know, just tape it to a stick or something. And again, I, all I'm going to do is just unplug it. There's nothing to save. There's nothing saved here, so it's just, just unplug it. Um, and that's about it. It's just an oversized uh, USB device. Yeah. It's washing. <laughs> 